like Dorinda and and Rinna style. They're slowing down. There's nothing else. You know, we have other things going below deck. We have multiple franchises. I think Married to Medicine is probably the winner of the whole thing because Married to Medicine has higher ratings than at least half the Housewife. I think maybe three-fourths the Housewife series. So Married to Medicine is considered doing just fine. Below Deck is doing good. Summer House, The Valley. I think The Valley, I mean, I got to see the newest numbers, but the initial numbers... Look, Jax has paid the most, and it's a lot. Is he paid what he was paid on Vanderpump Rules? No way, way less. He's paid the most. Kristen Doty paid the second most. Brittany paid the third most. Everyone else, it's, I don't even think, $60,000. This isn't Housewives. It's less, so the cost of the Valley is pretty low. And, you know, the ratings are pretty good. So the Valley, I think, is considered a hit. Go Lisa Vanderpump. Um, so we have some other things here, but I don't know. We don't have a lot now getting back to this whole thing where I was saying, I think there's like too much power. I think, you know, Ebony has said on this podcast, so I'm not talking out of school from any text she might've sent to me or any conversations we might've had off air, but Ebony has said, you know, season 13 of Roni is already being studied in certain colleges in like black studies courses. I think it's a, I think it's a like cornerstone of things we, that could be taught. I think Bravo, the Bravo network, the rise and fall of the Bravo network should be taught at Wharton and in like Harvard business school, because we're not there. The network hasn't fallen, but if it falls, I feel it's not that they put all their power in one person, a la Andy Cohen. Although, I think they did. I think they put all their power in one thing. I mean, to have a network that is this heavy, it would be like if Netflix now had selling Tennessee and selling this and the selling Sunset was just every show on Netflix. It's too much. Imagine if The Bachelor was 90% of ABC. It's too much of the same thing that now that the formula is falling apart, what else do we have? Like, what do you do if you're just left with like, you know, and I think Beverly Hills is the winner. It still has great ratings. It's, to me, it's different. It, you could keep it and say it's famous people. It's Beverly Hills. It's LA. It's Hollywood. It's it's what we want to see. It does stand out, love it or hate it, in a class by itself especially according to the ratings. So Beverly Hills will be safe too. So we have like Beverly Hills, Below Deck, Married to Medicine, probably Summer House because that ain't so expensive. You know, Vanderpump Rules, The Valley. So we have these things. I could see a lot of housewives going away and I could see the Bravo Network as we know it changing. It's my opinion. You know, what comes in place of housewives? Do we do, we do more scripted? Do we have a mixed network? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. You know, a lot of people said to me, well, Jersey, Jersey, um, Jersey will be okay. You know, Jersey will be okay. I'm not so sure. Now, let's talk about Jersey for a minute, okay? Because here's the thing about Jersey. This is such a pivotal season. I do think Beverly Hills is the only housewife that's really doing where it should be. Here's the thing about Jersey. Andy has said that a Teresa, Melissa not speaking season is not sustainable. I completely, completely agree. The season is filmed. God knows how long ago. I lose track at this point. So now we're going to watch this entire season and they're not going to be speaking. That's not sustainable. What happens at the end? I mean, really, what happens at the end of Jersey? Because they're still not going to be speaking. Look, do I think they might come together and try to save the show for the money? But I don't know if they're capable. I mean, Teresa hates that and they hate her. So, and the stuff that everybody's doing behind the scenes. I told you before, there's no 
behind the scenes show as dirty as as dirty as uh Jersey. By the way, I haven't even mentioned Dubai or um Salt Lake. Dubai, I mean, and I'm not trying to be mean. Does anyone out there on pins and needles waiting for Dubai to come back? Honestly, I forget it's even a housewife franchise. I truly do. Salt Lake, I get why I guess you had to fire Monica, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Salt Lake started filming right away to pick up on that. But I mean, I just don't see what we haven't heard anything. That's not a good sign. How is Salt Lake going to be good? It could. It could. I said last season was going to suck and it was the best season ever. So who knows? But New Jersey could topple over too, because look, we're going to have Teresa and Melissa not speaking, right? Even if Bravo was doing great, Andy has said, this is not sustainable. So even if Bravo was doing great, I think something has to change in New Jersey. I said last season, Melissa was 100% going. I thought Margaret was in trouble. Everyone slips into my DMs. David, you weren't wrong. You were just a season off. I don't know about that, but it's not sustainable. So I do think Jersey is coming for some type of change at the end of this next season. Here's the thing. We didn't know what to do this season, so we just brought everyone back. New Jersey is now probably the most expensive franchise along with Beverly Hills. So it's going to really depend on the ratings for Jersey. I could see Jersey being in a class by itself. It's a bunch of fucking animals. I could see everybody being like, wow, this is so interesting. The ratings last year were good. If it comes back to those type of ratings, we're in, we're in luck. I could see people being like, why are we watching? Teresa and Melissa are not going to speak to each other, period, the end. I don't get it. So if it's a whole nother season of Teresa and Melissa not speaking to each other, I could see people tuning out by episode two, four, six, and I could see the ratings dropping, 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 dropping every week. If the ratings for New Jersey are what they were last season, I think New Jersey will be in the surviving category with Beverly Hills. And then I think we still have to change it up. If the ratings are low and you're all bored and you know what happens, that's where some Melissa don't speak and you don't want to watch, then New Jersey, I'm not so sure is coming right back either because here's the thing. How do we change up the show? New Jersey is really expensive at this point. You have Teresa, probably two, two, five. You have Melissa, one, five, close to two. I'm not done. Margaret Josephs, Margaret Josephs has been there for a long time. She's probably like 800,000. When I was friends with Margaret, Margaret used to always tell me it disgusted her, disgusted her that Dolores made more than her. She would always tell me this. I contribute. Look at me. Look at me on camera. I contribute so much more than Dolores. How does she make more than me? Well, it's favored nations, girl. So as much as Margaret makes a Dolores girl, you ain't writing so easy either. What are you contributing for your salary? Dolores is so in the middle, literally in the middle of the picture and will not take a side. In a way, she's what they want. Like she's like, that's what they want. They want the crystal Kongs of the world that are not going to get their hands too dirty. Let's not give a pass to Jennifer Aiden. This is her sixth fucking season for Miss Aiden. You know, I mean, Jackie took her hit when she's a friend of Aiden's up there. Aiden's probably five, 